We have a microwave and as you can see the glass dish that's supposed to be rotating in there is not. So that's just sitting there. So what I've done is I have bought a new control board so we're gonna take this apart. What I've done though before, realized this was the problem, I went under the microwave and I removed, there's a motor that's underneath here. So I tested that motor, it spins independently so the motor's working so it's not a motor issue. So it has to be this control board. Have this new control board. We're gonna and put now it in. before we start working, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this so there's no power coming to it. So I'm gonna unscrew, there's a screw on the bottom here and then there's also one straight on the top down in here. And I take this top cover off and there's the screw. Now with that open, we can lift up on this and this will come free. And it's held in there with the wires and then there's also a metal bracket that helps keep it in there. I like to take a picture of this so that we know when we need to put it back together how this goes. So now I have them side by side here. It is uh, the right control board. We're going to end up popping this free so we can get this film off of here. And then we're going to unscrew these screws. We're going to swap these control boards up. And when you're buying these, you can buy the control board and you can also buy it with the panel. Usually it's more expensive. Um, so if your panel's say all scratched up and you want to get a new um, touchpad, you can do that as well. So now once you have all those, you're just going to pop this one out. Pop this one in, and then we're just gonna screw that back in We're just place. gonna make sure we got all these tight. So there's a little black piece here. So we need that to be up so we can slide this in. And this is the piece that allows your touchpad to control or to connect with your circuit board. Once we have that in, we're just gonna push that down in and tight. And now we've got our control board swapped out. So we can put this back in, but first off, you're gonna notice there's a lot of grease. Uh, an oil residue that's on here. So you're just gonna clean that up first. And now we're just gonna start connecting these ends back into place. And then next we're just gonna put these connectors back in. And then I didn't have to discharge the capacitor. I wasn't working with anything on that end. Last one, and it is quite small. You do have to be careful. They are fairly delicate. Next we'll plug it back in. We're going to test it out. And now our plate is spinning. Stop. And it works. So if you're having any issues, hopefully this helps. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.